All right, so today I'm going to start kind of a multi-part video on my new flat toe setup. I'll kind of go through what I chose and why I chose it. I got the baby here in the garage with me today. So, uh, anyway, what I'm flat towing is 2002 Chevy Silverado. And this is the setup that I went with, so I want to kind of go through it and tell you why and tell you about what it cost. So the first piece, of course, is the tow bar. This is a Blue Ox 10,000-pound uh, tow bar with the 10,000-pound safety cables that are getting stolen. So the reason I went with this, uh, I wasn't originally planning to go with Blue Ox just for the price point. Uh, but I actually found this, a friend of mine that has a repair shop had this for sale for um, $400 and this is normally about a $1,300 tow bar so when I heard that deal I kind of just jumped on it and so that's what I got there. To go along with it I went ahead and got the Blue Ox base plate of course and there's more in the box than, than just these but uh, the Blue Ox base plate for this setup was around $600. It was between $600 and $650 for the base plate. These are, of course, you know, they mount on your frame. We'll go through installation. You pull the pin, you turn them, they come out. And so if you don't like the idea of something sticking out of the front of your vehicle when you're not towing it, you can remove them. Personally, I don't really care. I was going to go with the Roadmaster crossbar setup until I stumbled across these tow bars and then I decided to, decided to just go with Blue Ox altogether. Now, I really did a lot of thinking on brake systems. And the brake system that I ended up going with, uh, what is it? Yeah, Ready Brake, I guess by NSA RV Products. So, the reason I went with this, and the way this works, if you don't know, this part of course goes on the coach, your tow bar goes in this end, and a cable goes from this ring to your brake pedal. We'll go through all that. But as you stop, and your vehicle pushes, you know, it, it collapses this piece right here, and it pulls this lever back, applying your brakes uh, mechanically. And then it's got an indicator light that came with it, and that plugs into the dash and uh, you can see whenever the brakes are being applied. So I went back and forth a lot between the brake buddy and this. One of the things that made me go with this was of course the brake buddies are you know fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars. This was about four hundred and fifty dollars and so the price point seemed more practical as well as the, the idea of having a mechanical system over an electronic system it seemed like it might be more reliable in the long run hard to say but uh, it just seemed like a, a good option to go with so that's where we're at right now blue ox set up with the with the ready break and next we will move on to installation and kind of sh show you how all that goes and walk through the whole process and um, anyway, hopefully this will be a good setup. I don't have anything against the brake buddies. I just, when it comes to having electrical components, and you know, it seems like there's more points of failure. I've never used one of these, but from what I've seen, people seem to really like them, and I'm hoping that that it'll be a good setup for uh, for us. And probably, no, don't eat the styrofoam. That's not good for you probably save some money and maybe save some hassle. I feel like when it comes to mechanical components it's easy to work on them and repair them as opposed to computers and things like that like we have in the brake buddy. Plus you don't have to take this in and out like you do the brake buddy. The brake buddy is a, a big uh, box that sits in the floorboard that you have to remove every time you unhook. This is seems a little bit simpler plus you don't have any draw on your battery your key can be completely turned off because you don't need any power to operate this obviously 
And I like the idea of if we're stopping for the night, I can pull up to a campsite, pull in, and not even have to worry about the tow vehicle if I don't need it. So that was another thing that I thought would be would be kind of nice. So here we go. So in the next video, we're going to start installing all this. We'll probably start with the base plate, and then once that's done, we'll get the get the coach over here and get the rest of this hooked up. Yeah. She seems pretty happy with it.